Close Calls, Stories of Survival on Ag Day is brought to you by AGI. AGI offers complete systems and solutions with industry-leading products to meet your needs. AGI has you covered. To learn more, visit aggrowth.com. Fall harvest is getting underway, and it's a good time to remind farmers to give their grain some extra love as they put it into storage. As we continue our series, Close Calls, Stories of Survival. Ag Day's Michelle Rook looks at how this can also potentially save lives. Clinton, every year we hear of accidents involving farmers that are entrapped in grain bins as they're trying to dislodge spoiled grain. However, these incidents can be prevented if farmers keep stored grain in good condition. Plus, with the current grain prices, there is certainly a financial incentive to do it as well. As leader of the Purdue Ag Safety and Health Program, Bill Field has spent the last 40 years documenting farm accidents across the country, including grain entrapments. He says the resounding theme in all these cases is that they could have been easily avoided with proper grain management practices. There's a direct correlation between out of condition or spoiled grain and the increased probability of someone becoming entrapped. And they're actually trying to work in some way to get the grain out of storage. It's crusted, it's moldy, it, it plugs. And so people get in there and they fight with it to try to get it out. And that's when they get in trouble. Fields says harvesting grain and storing it too wet can cause it to spoil and crust in the bin. So farmers need to dry crops down to 15% moisture or below. And that level needs to be maintained while the grain is in storage. You can store it for short periods of time above that level, but if you're keeping it in there for several months or you have some really warm weather in the, in the late fall, that activity is going to increase. You're going to have more insect activity, uh, and that's why it needs to be down there below uh, 14 or 15 percent. Once grain is put in storage, he says farmers need to monitor the bins regularly and run air through the grain to keep it at the proper moisture and temperature. However, it only takes a few days for grain to spoil, and when that happens, farmers must work quickly. Grain begins to warm up, it's spoiling, it produces heat, and if you can monitor that before it gets too bad and start moving grain out of that storage space, getting it utilized, getting it shipped off to market, whatever it needs to be done, uh, you're going to save an awful lot of grain. By keeping grain in proper condition, he says farmers won't have to enter the bins to try to salvage or move spoiled product, thus preventing a potentially costly and deadly entrapment. Proper grain storage management also prevents grain from losing value from dockage at the elevator, which cuts into farmers' profits. Now, for more information, you can go to Purdue Extension's Ag Confined Spaces website. All right, thanks, Michelle. And another danger on the farm, grain dryers. Todd Boyd of Pinetown, North Carolina, sharing this video on Twitter. He says no one was hurt and adds there was a great response from the local volunteer fire department and EMS. Now, he says they're still working to see what caused it. 